I'm my liability, literally. In this series, I've set out to accomplish the strongest low-level pure Gilinor has ever seen. A 10 HP Iron Man account with 60 attack, 99 strength, and just 31 prayer. No overheads. My end goal is to get my hands on the coveted Dragon Claws and rush people to Narnia. But there's a twist. If I get 11 HP, I'm restarting. And that's a fact. Come on, please. Oh, yes, boys. Okay, I hit it, I hit it, I hit it, I hit it, I hit it. One more hit, maybe? Yes! We did it! Oh my god, we did it! Yes, boys, we did it! Now that I have Horde from the Deep completed, I have the ability to wield God Books. While each God Book has different attack and defense bonuses, only one has what I'm truly after, an increase in strength bonus. The Bandos Book gives plus two in strength and will lead to an additional max hit when PKing with my short term stack goals, which are 60 attack, 73 strength, and 31 prayer. Unfortunately, there's been some bad blood surfacing around old school RuneScape in relation to the difficulty of getting the Bandos Book, so that may be a potential roadblock for us. This episode will be simple. I will be doing easy clues in hopes of getting Bandos pages. I will be going against Mod Ash and proving him wrong about how God pages actually roll in the game. But before I can do that, let me introduce you with how I'll be getting the easy clues. So first things first, I'll be doing easy clues since I have the greatest probability of finishing them. Easy clues are between 2 and 4 steps and don't have many requirements at all. The only requirement I don't have to complete easy clues is 10 defense. There are easy clues that require wearing steel plate skirts, black plate bodies, and hard leather bodies which unfortunately all will result in the clue being dropped. In total there is approximately a 90% chance for my count being able to complete an easy clue, leaving obviously a 10% chance that I will drop the clue and go back to the ham hideout. As you could have guessed, the method of choice is the ham members. Ham members have a 1 in 50 chance of stealing an easy clue while pickpocketing them. The best place to pickpocket is on the northeast end of the ham area as it will get stuck between the beds and won't be able to move. This will allow you to just spam click. Here are two items that I will be using to increase my easy clues per hour and I strongly recommend them to you as well. The necklace of passage. This was introduced with the new silver jewelry update and allows you to teleport to the wizard's tower just seconds away from the ham hideout. This will allow you to quickly travel back to the hideout after each clue. And the dodgy necklace. This was also introduced with the silver jewelry update and gives a 25% chance of preventing you from getting stunned and damaged when pickpocketing. This is crucial since it will also reduce the amount of times you get kicked out of the ham hideout, hence increasing your clues per hour. One more thing that I want to show you very quickly, hidey holes, commonly referred to as stash units in old school runescape. Stash units allow you to conveniently place the necessary items for a particular clue step just squares away from the place they are required. Stash units are somewhat hidden, but they appear in the places that require specific items for a particular clue step. To build a stash unit, you'll need two planks, some nails, a hammer, and a saw. Stash units make it so you don't have to go rummaging through your bank every time you need a specific item to complete a clue. I cannot stress how important these are to maximizing clues per hour. Obviously, I'll be using these along the way. Oh, first page. It's a Guthix page. Ooh, Ancient Blessing. That's interesting. That was only a two-stepper. I did not mean to open that. Purple Sweets. Easy clue number eight. Another Guthix page. That's the second Guthix page. Clue reward number nine coming in. Let's take a gander. Another page. This time, Ceridoman page. And number 10. First Zami page on the account. Very nice. Number 11. Ceridoman page one. Morton and Digside tallies. That's decently good. 13. Alright, easy casket number 15. My hockey number. This is going to be a Bandos page. <laughs> oh, what the heck. That's funny. Well, it's dead already. Thanks for playing. 16. 17. Number 18.
Number 21 is... Wow. 15k cash. Easy clue number 23. Badoodle? Oh. Very nice. Heh. <laughs> Not even gonna look at it. Thirty-one. There we go. The dry streak is over. Saradom in page three, but I think I may already have that. Number thirty-four. I'm opening it right here. Lame. Number thirty-seven. Oh, no way! My first double page. Number thirty-eight. 15k. Number 45. Ooh. Purple sweets and law runes. 49. Oh. Charge Dragonstone Jewelry Scroll. Do those work for me? Dude, that could either be game changing or it could be your useless and we're about to find out. Moment of truth. Uh, <laughs> oh, we were so close. Oh, that would have been unbelievable. Thank you so much, man. Level three. One of these hopefully will be a glory. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Let's see. Oh my god! No way! We called it! No fucking way, dude! Three glories! Oh my fucking god! Yes, dude! That's so good for the account! <laughs> Clue number 50 is... Coins. And 51. Salmon and earth rings. Well, I was hoping to get a page for after all that effort, but unfortunately, we'll just have to keep going. Number 52. And we're just going to open this right here. I'm feeling this one. Oh, little fashion. All right, clue number 64. Iron plate skirt T. Interesting. All right, here we go. This should be 67. Easy clue number 68. Studded body G. Too bad I can't wield that. All right, lucky number 70. Good luck, luck. Oh! Holy shit! <laughs> what the hell? That's quite a few uniques there. And a master. Well, show this to Sherlock. Rip. Headbang. Get my casket. Get my bandos piece. Oh! All right, here we go. Number 75. Okay, number 77. Lucky number seven's first time at this place too. Oh, holy damn. And a black ax. I feel like a black ax is used for some sort of clue as well. That's very good. Armadillo rope top. All right, number 80. Steel plate skirt T and a Bob's red shirt. Number 81. That's interesting. We got the top and the bottom. All 
Badoodle. Shit. Call me Sidney Crosby? <laughs> what is that? Okay, easy clue number 90 on the account. Wayne, I'm 62 dry of a god page, please. And that's a fact. Well, it is a fact, and now I'm 63 dry. There we go. Here comes easy clue number 100. And we remain dry. So as you can see, I've done 100 easy clues. My first 37, I got 8 pages. And my first 50 or so I did on Entrana. The next 50 I did all of Entrana because I wanted to increase the probability of getting other things like fashionscape stuff. What I really did was I doubted Mod Ash. I doubted the great Mod Ash. How I thought that easy clues worked and all clues worked actually was that there was two drop tables. One for the respective clues whether easy, medium, hard, elite, or master and those had each of their respective items on there. And then a second drop table, known as a universal drop table, that dropped the other stuff, like the god pages, the purple sweets, the fire lighters, that were universal for all five clues. Obviously 50 isn't a big sample size, but it's pretty lopsided at this point. I have no pages in 50 clues outside of Entrana. And I have eight of them within 50 clues inside of Entrana. Going forward here, we're going back to Entrana. The experiment is over. I can get the fashionscape stuff later in the game. God Ash, I'm sorry. I need to pray like crazy and make it up for you. Okay, number 101. Let's see if I've been cleansed by the god Ash. No, but I like it. At least I saw purple sweets, which is on the same table as getting a god page. 102? Purple sweets again. We're getting close. 104? Yes! Yes! It's been snapped! It's been snapped at 104! Armadillo page 3, I'm not sure if I have it yet, but it has been snapped at 104. Damn, we went 67 clues dry of a page, of a page. Damn it, I have to admit, Mod Ash is right. Do your clues in Entrana, boys. Okay, so we didn't have page 3, which means now we have page 2 and 3 for the Armadillo set. One ten. Oh, master scroll book. That's going to save some bank space, I think. Very nice. One eleven. Double page. Sarah page one and Sarah page two. Oh my God! Yes. So where does this take us? Okay, so now we have a one. We have two ones. A two. And a three. 112. Back to back pages. My first ancient page, too. Awesome. 113. Back to back to back pages. Gothic's page two. Number 116. Yes! Our first Bandos page. Oh my god, yes! One fourth of the way to the Book of War, boys. One twenty-four. Yes, yes, we got our second page. Yes, yes, and it's a different one from my first one. The first one was page three. We're halfway there, boys. Okay, so the second Banos page, 
Vandal's page one. So now I have one and three, and obviously two and four remain. One twenty nine. Double page, ancient page three, Guthix page three. I think I have the Guthix page already. I'm not sure about the ancient page, but let's take a look. So that's a new page. So now we have ancient page two and three. And moment of truth. Oh, we've completed the set. That was the one we needed. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. So we have our first set completed. The Guthix book, the Book of Balance. It gives plus four to all attack and defense stats, which isn't too bad. One thirty-five. Ooh, armadillo page two. One forty-two. Let's go, baby. Ancient page two. I think I have that one already, though. I'm pretty sure I had this page already, but let's see. Yep. I had two and three. One forty-nine. Oh, the second Zami page. Zami page three. That could be a duplicate, though. As soon as this cat says, hey, Mac rats on Horror of the Deep, good luck on the pages. I get that. Thank you, Fragile. Appreciate that, brother. All right, moment of truth. Please, no duplicates. Oh, no! 150? One fifty-eight on the board with the Guthix page one. I'm not sure if. Oh no, I already have completed the Guthix set, so that's kind of a rip. One fifty-nine. No, I think that's a duplicate. Oh no, I think that's a duplicate. Oh man, I'm almost certain that's a duplicate. Please don't be a duplicate. Moment of truth. There's one. Oh, I know I have one and three. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> oh, no. Another Gothics page, man. One seventy. Oh my god, please be page 2 or 4. Please be page 2 or 4. My mouse is hovering over it. My eyes are closed. You guys see it before me. Well, not really because I have to edit this. But please be 2 or 4. Yes! 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 It's 4! Oh my god, we have one left! There we go, boys. Oh my gosh, we're so close. Just page 2 remains. One seventy-seven. Oh, Serodome and page four. I'm not sure if I need that. Oh, so I have three of them. Please don't be a duplicate. Oh yes, yes. My second book set complete, boys. So now we have the Guthix book and the Serodome book. One eighty. Another Guthix page. One eighty six. Ooh, that's a Sarah page, which we already have completed the set, but interesting. One ninety six. Oh, my God, we rolled a page. We rolled a plate. Oh my god, no, I don't want to look. Oh my god, we rolled a page. We need page two. We finally rolled a page, boys. 25% chance me hovering over this right now that we're done. There's a 25% chance that we're done. I am so nervous. Please, please be two.